again this evening we will we will uh, get to discover how LinkedIn uh, specifically personal branding will uh, work for you and yep leading uh, this um, uh, talk our sharer so let's uh, give a warm <laughs> good evening and welcome uh, to Shweta. Hi Shweta. Hi. Can you guys hear me? Uh, yes, loud and loud and clear. Good. Con <laughs> the very uh, you know conventional question this is. Can you hear me and can you see me? <laughs> clear. Clear, loud super and clear. Glad, super glad to be here. Uh, so I was sharing in one of the physical meetups I went uh, earlier this morning. I said, you know, it's been quite a journey. Me attending a LinkedIn local, then hosting a LinkedIn local, then mentoring a LinkedIn local, and now as a speaker. So I'm pretty thrilled to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Yep. Uh, for those who are not aware, this is also like everyone else watching us right now. This is my first time to meet Shweta. Am I pronouncing it right? Yeah, I would also and I, uh, like to understand how do you pronounce your name? Jo Mark, simply Jo, jo Mark. Mark. Jo Mark, yeah, great. Okay, and yes, guys, Shweta is in in India, Mumbai, Mumbai, yeah. right? Yeah, in India, Mumbai. Yep. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah. So, how many of you viewing today are from India originally? If there are some in the group. Uh, you know, you can be like, yay, I'm from India. You know, <laughs> like the typical Indian shout out. I'm not able to see any comments. So, Jamak, you'll have to help me uh, with. Okay, I'm able to see. Yes, yes. There are some <laughs> messages that I'm able to see. Yeah. So yep. uh, fun. I'm currently seeing your page right now. And I'm seeing both of our faces in your page. So, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that's amazing okay uh, let's warm things up uh, I guess by uh, asking a few questions maybe you would like to ask me as well but uh, I guess it's it's the LinkedIn local community so I guess how did you um, discover uh, LinkedIn local uh, I discovered through LinkedIn only. So, uh, you know, the Pune host, uh, Priya Dhawan, actually, I was following her on LinkedIn and I, I, I came to know about LinkedIn local events. And uh, I happened to understand, uh, attend one uh, in Pune. And uh, I was uh, quite excited with the idea because I've been, uh, you know, when I attended that LinkedIn local, I was... Uh, in the business development role so i ended up attending a lot of networking meets and when i attended this one i found it to be uh you know really unique uh, because i found it to be a playground for all it was not very community centric okay the bankers you know it was not it was for all uh, uh people from different domains people from different industry backgrounds people from different work profiles can can actually come together and what what i found interesting was that it was not about lead generation and you know sharing the business cards it was more about connecting genuinely building relationships and i figured that you know uh, when people networking meets are happening in silos in here in uh, mumbai specifically in the suburb thane that i am in i wanted to bring this kind of aura uh, here so that you know people can uh, communities can intermingle so that that was my idea of starting linkedin local i started in 2018 um, mm -hmm. just you know 24th of november yeah 24th of november 2018 <laughs> So how was it so far uh, during the pandemic? Uh, do you also do this sort of uh, online events, online meetups? 
so uh, what i did was uh, uh, when uh, so uh, actually 14th of march 2020 i had slated you know the event was to happen in 13th march evening when you have everything just ready i had to call it off because of the guidelines government guidelines etc post that what i did was uh, i understood that now you know people will jump into the the requirement of upskilling themselves specifically in my community most of them were small business owners and definitely they were pretty much off social media when it comes to you know having their business presence so uh, i conducted few workshops for my community uh, right from linkedin to instagram to youtube to uh, you know influencer marketing so on and so forth so that happened till june 2020 post that you know obviously with the with the whole fag of uh, <laughs> webinars happening etc uh, it was it took a back seat and uh, i also figured that primarily we are an offline model so uh, what we did was we did uh, uh, collaborate with four of five, five five of us linkedin local hosts from mumbai uh, four of them happened to be my mentee also so we collaborated and did some mega events online so couple of them we did yes but yes uh, when i was doing offline i was doing consistently every month offline events which i am like waiting for it to happen again Uh, is this your uh, first time as well to have a Philippine uh, Philippine yes. audience? Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I hope I am able to pronounce and they are able to understand correctly. So uh, if if you if you're okay with my my uh, oration, if I may call it, please give me a heads up. I have I have been interacting with uh, audience outside of India, but. Philippine audience is new for me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, for us, uh, we're familiar with our Indian brothers because we have a different community for engineers, and you know, Indians <laughs> are very good at engineering. So we have another <laughs> community for that, and they uh, they use they are uh, one of our frequent attendees whenever we do AutoCAD or CAD trainings. So. <laughs> And in India also, uh, there is a joke. You know, there's a there's a community Indian community, and there is an Indian engineer community. So we still have, you know, uh, that joke around. Uh, we kind of you know define engineers as a separate community. Although my elder one is also getting into that community very soon. Yep. Uh, once more, uh, encouraging everyone to ask uh, questions. I think Shweta has a. Uh... slide uh, to share for it to be visual but we're encouraging everyone to ask questions let's make this a, a sort of uh, uh, meaningful uh, interactive uh, conversation with shweta just leading the way so um are are you using a laptop shweta so it's simply yeah, at the yeah, bottom I, share button. yeah i i'll be able to share the screen i guess And uh, I guess how how is it in India with regards to LinkedIn? Is uh, is it one of the top uh, platforms? Because here in the Philippines, we're trying to convince everyone: Hey, you have you will have a better career <laughs> opportunity if you go to. So uh, yes, India also we are we are pretty much at the same stage, Mark. Because uh, when I started LinkedIn Local, I figured that people were uh, you know opening up accounts on LinkedIn for the simple reason that. Uh, are you able to see me? Not yet. Okay. Now. Uh, I think at, I'm just at, figuring out how to share the screen. <laughs> at the bottom panel, there's a share button there, so click on share screen. Okay, and if I have to share a PPT, I click on window, right? I think there's three options there. One at the top is also slides. Entire Please. screen. Yep, entire screen, preferable. Okay. So for me right now, uh, I'm currently sharing my entire screen, which shows your profile. So with that, once more, encouraging everyone to please <laughs> connect and follow Shweta in uh, LinkedIn. Please do that. I'm also flashing her uh, Instagram account. And once more, I'm seeing we're seeing ourselves in Shweta's Facebook page. 
I'm currently I... using uh, three monitors. That's why uh, I can I can easily have visibility on everything else. Am I able to share my screen? Slides. Okay. This is, I'm still learning, guys. Please bear with me when it comes to technology. <laughs> I'm not that pro uh, in technology. I'm able to share the screen. You guys can see the slides, right? How do I? Uh... Oh, we're seeing it now. Okay, great. Great. Good to go. Can I start? All technical yep, yep. problems solved. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, everyone in the room, uh, I want to understand from you all, where do you stand in terms of your LinkedIn presence uh, on a scale of 1 to 10? Very quickly, if people can type in, uh, I'll be able to gauge uh, my audience uh, in terms of their uh, uh, literacy uh, when it comes to LinkedIn. So, where we are talking about how... To build your personal brand using LinkedIn or leveraging LinkedIn. So this whole discussion will be bifurcated into two parts, personal branding and LinkedIn. So I would step by step take it up, uh, emphasizing more on how you would be using the platform to build a personal brand. Now, before we take the platform into consideration, it is important that uh, it is important that uh, you know we understand what personal brand is because when i talk about personal brand at different platforms i understand that people are pretty uh, confused as to what personal brand means and, you know it's just a fad word and everybody is using so i'm also using and you know uh, that's not the case that's not the case so uh, uh, to, to kind of, okay, I have got zero uh, out of 10. Only one person is responding. How many of uh, viewers are there, uh, Jomak? So that I get a hands-on. Um, I want... We, yep. Yeah. This is also being shown, I think, to more than 10 universities, but we don't have... Uh, it doesn't pop up here. We don't have visibility on... <laughs> on of the comments. No problem. No problem. I'm assuming that I am the best orator present today and you guys are glued onto the screen and listening to me. That gives me a feeling where I can add uh, value today. Uh, and I hope that anybody who is viewing now or viewing the replay later finds value and, and takes Definitely. the next step to to start using seriously uh, the LinkedIn platform and more so start building the personal brand. Now, uh, coming to the next point is, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the slide, uh, uh, that, you know, first let's understand what do you mean really by building your personal brand. Uh, usually when when either any of the social media that we talk about whether it is uh, whether it is facebook or youtube or twitter or anything we we are treating it as a social media platform i will come to it as to how you can leverage a personal brand on linkedin but before that i want to want you guys to understand what personal brand really means yeah. so Personal branding to me, this is just my definition, is people asking you, who are you? You know, when you have to introduce yourself, when you have to explain who you are, what do you do? How do you do? How do you help them with? And to the stage where people already know you, your reputation precedes you. And that's where, you know, you would have understood that you've built some kind of, you know, a personal brand for yourself where in a forum, in, in, in any platform that you, you are present, people already know you. They have been already following you. They have been getting a lot of value from whatever you are doing. So that's pretty much to me is building personal brand. The second is uh, the second fundamental or second disclaimer that I want to put up here is it is not a sprint. It is not a sprint. It is a marathon. And the way you prepare for marathon, you have to prepare for building a personal brand. The way you take those baby steps in terms of, you know, from five kilometers to 10 kilometers to so on and so forth, you have to be very, very, very patient and, and, and very consistent 
both patient and consistent in the journey of building your personal brand this is you know a non negotiable thing otherwise even if a, a viral post or a viral uh, stuff you know makes you really famous that doesn't qualify as you having built a personal brand and to me the journey of be, from being invisible invisible as in obviously your close uh, circle family and friends obviously know you but what i mean is to the whole world so from being invisible to being unignorable you be, yeah. you establish yourself you you establish yourself as a personal brand so authentic so credible that people can't really ignore you they may like you they may not like you but they cannot ignore you that's that's the stage that you have to aspire to reach if you want to build your personal brand the second is uh, when i was talking about the patience piece of it uh, i see especially millennials i see um, uh, that you know they are they are really impatient things don't happen in first month things don't happen in second month and they give up as i said earlier it's a marathon you have to stick around you have to stick around for the results to show up those people who uh, whom you think because they are famous you think them to be a personal brand and you try to imitate their journey and want to really have everything in the you know first month or second month or third month it is not a sustainable model it is not a model that is eventually going to bring you profitability so the stage where definitely to build a personal brand the first step is you should be visible people should know uh, you have something to share and you should be you know there out to share that for people to actually get to know you so visibility is definitely the first step but visibility with consistency and authenticity will bring credibility and to me this is the core part of building the personal brand if you are Osborne. not credible you shweta it's vca visibility VCP. visibility credibility profitability authenticity Visi <laughs> yeah so uh, so if visibility uh, with consistency and authenticity i am visible i am there all across i am there all across but like for instance i uh, i am there on linkedin for two days and i vanish for two months that is not consistent <laughs> also yeah. if i am consistent every day jo mark if i am consistent every day audience also who are listening but today i am talking about uh, a recipe that i cooked and tomorrow i am talking about a trip that i uh, i took third day i am talking about cricket fourth day i am talking about linkedin then again even if i am visible every single day i am not consistent yeah okay so guys understand that if whichever medium that you are choosing linkedin or any other medium uh, you have to have these fundamentals in place the first step is visibility but when you are visible you have to understand that okay x is my audience x is looking up to me x is someone whom i want to share stuff with and i would want to add as much value as i can to to you know for them to spare their time and listen to me or you know see my content and learn something from me so visibility with consistency and authenticity people cannot be fooled guys if you think people can be fooled you are a fool <laughs> they cannot be fooled they cannot really be fooled yeah. they understand they understand the you know the gaps are very evident at times when uh, i've seen people building personal brand the gaps are really i didn't uh, you know evident from what they preach and what they practice and 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 that's not going to work that's not going to work now once you are visible and once you are credible i'll share an example so if you are really really you know you have x number of followers in all the social media platforms and Uh, you have really really uh, genuine following where people look up to all your content and really really engaging community that you've built uh, a tribe that you've built for yourself the moment you you uh, launch a product or the moment you launch uh, a service don't you think people will buy up front left right center it's going to happen because you've built that trust you've already invested that time to build that personal brand build that trust 
and definitely you know the moment you launch something people are going to like it's going to sell like hot cakes there comes the profitability so my urge to you is don't think about monetizing your personal brand the moment you think okay i've gone from x follower to now i should earn money be patient be patient i am doing this lecture free of cost by the way just so you know because that's where the the we try try to go with the intent to add value if you yeah. have a clear intent to add value it is definitely going to be a sustainable model for building your personal brand so i would rather urge you to you know uh, be the be uh, in the in the game for a long haul rather than you know just be there for a while and vanish and whatever that money is that you've earned or monetizing it it's it's like not sustainable you will have to reinvent the whole wheel if you want to build the personal brand why why waste time energy doing that right now uh in in with respect to what uh, we are going to talk today it is not going to be a tutorial i am not going to show you today in terms of you know go here click that do that place this this that there are hell lot of youtube videos available and i also take master classes which are pretty much tutorials so i am going to focus more on the fundamentals today because once they are sorted and once really you 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 feel that urge uh, of committing yourself to build your personal brand of committing yourself to be very consistent with linkedin that's where you know the whole tutorial is going to actually help i teaching you now is not going to do any any good so this this expectation with this expectation in mind i would want to go ahead with the presentation before that there is a spoiler uh, i'm <laughs> sorry i'm this old school so uh, whatever uh, whether it is personal branding using linkedin or any other platform or using different touch points uh, with your audience through social media platforms uh, again and again it's not going to be fast i have mentioned earlier also it's not going to be passive that you okay, you are not engaging you've outsourced it to someone else etc and you know it's 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 happening no it's not going to happen your involvement because it's the word personal right do you understand that you have to even richard branson is involved in his personal brand building right now and it's definitely not going to happen overnight it's not going to happen overnight if it's happening overnight something is not right <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it requires you to show up and do the actual work and i would add here that please do the actual work with the proper strategies in mind ad hoc work will lead you from a to b but it may will definitely not lead you from a to z okay so i would urge that when 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 you decide think through the clarity is the first step and i'm going to talk about it in the further slides now why this slide has come again there's some error sorry okay so uh, before Maybe. before i <laughs> before i talk about uh, is it okay guys i need a, a need some interaction from you is it okay if i take just 30 seconds to talk about who am i and why the hell you should even listen to me that be okay with you guys i absolutely a... you are our guest <laughs> thank you thank you uh, and there is a, there is a there is a reason why i always put up this slide and uh, most of you have like you know known uh, as jumak introduced that i was a, i am a linkedin host and obviously i am a linkedin coach and consultant but not many know uh, these are the stats that are available you can check out on my uh, linkedin uh, profile also but what i want to share here is my journey guys i did my banking and business finance way back in 97 98 and uh, within 6 months i got married uh, you know that's the way in india we have marriages happen pretty early and in my era definitely it was pretty early so uh, i got married and circumstances were such that i was not able to pursue any career and uh, almost 20 plus years i was a homemaker i was a homemaker for more than 20 plus years and since uh, you know i started 
uh, am I, are you guys able to see me? There's some change, so I'm like, Chamak, are you there? Are you able to see me? Yes, of course. Okay. You're able to see me. Okay, I lost you, so I was like, okay. No, no, no. I'm, I was focusing for everyone to see the why me. Okay, I, think I, I, get, I get it. I get it. So, uh, so what happened was that uh, an opportunity fell my, uh, fell my lap, fell in my lap, uh, because I was, I did an Everest base camp uh, trekking, and uh, we were a closed group. And we were together for 19 plus days. And, and one of my trekking mates, we got to know each other very closely. And post that expedition, uh, around six months after that, I got a call from him saying that, okay, uh, we have an HR consulting firm and we want to hire someone for business development. And we think you're the right fit. And uh, would you be interested? And we see a lot of potential in you. And I was like shocked because I was not, even contemplating on getting into a career you know i was like okay now that that option is out of the window i will never be able to be a career woman and and uh, when someone reached out to me saying that i see a lot of potential in you that hit me hard and i saw that okay if someone is seeing potential in me someone wants to invest in me it's high time that i should give myself a chance Definitely, it was too scary because I was not qualified in HR. I was not qualified in sales and I was asked to sell HR services. And I was like freaking my first email, corporate email that I drafted. I know how, you know, because in India, I've come from the northern part of India. We always think in Hindi, talk in Hindi and, you know, kind of translating it into English and, and, and trying to be very, uh, you know, good at the, the articulation. Everything was like, completely new uh, territory, new terrain for me. And 2016, when I created my LinkedIn account, I was so intimidated by the profiles. By God, I mean, like when I was creating my profile, I didn't know what to write except the education part because I had no experience. <laughs> and, and, and there were profiles which were so illustrious, which were like, you know, really, really amazing. And I was like shrieking when it comes to sending connection requests. Either nobody will accept, you know, why the, what, what value my profile is going to add to them. And, and from 2016 to 2018, I did everything wrong that I preach now that people should not do. So whatever I talk about comes from a, from a learning, comes from a learning. And 2018, when I started LinkedIn Local, I realized that it's high time that people should know me because uh, that's where if they connect with me, my vision, then they will connect with my community. And that's yeah. where I, I started digging deeper uh, in terms of how I can leverage the platform, what the do's and don'ts. I upskilled myself. 2020 was, I was a student back again, <laughs> doing internships <laughs> and doing everything under the sun, all the leadership courses, and I did all of it. Uh, and and 2020, uh, I launched myself as a LinkedIn uh, coach. So practically from 2018 to 21 is my journey that, that you see in terms of growth and presence on LinkedIn. And I'm sure most of you will say she doesn't have, you know, those 80,000 plus followers and one lakh plus followers. What the hell? You know, she has only this many, but I'm OK with it because I'm getting at least three to four qualified leads every week. And I'm not doing any outbound leads as of now. I'm not doing any sales pitches as of now. And if if that is the power of personal brand, I'm perfectly happy with it. Uh, definitely, I would like to grow to a lack of followers. But yes, it takes pains. People who have gathered that genuinely, it, take, it has taken years. Now, my, my, my humble uh, reason for sharing the story is, guys, if I can do it, you can do it too. And, and people who are viewing me from the universities, the earlier you start, the faster you grow, the better you go. Because yeah. all the mistakes, all the learning will happen till the time you actually become a full-fledged professional. So, you know, by the time you reach that zone where you are able to share uh, from your learning, etc., uh, and people are looking up to you, you've already learned the game. You've already built your personal brand. So uh, my reason of sharing and thanks everyone who's listening and who have heard my story, if that has inspired you just 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1
to get on the journey of building personal brand, get on LinkedIn and be serious about it. My purpose is solved. My purpose Shweta. today is solved. Yep. Actually, I, I, I am seeing here we both uh, became connected just recently, July this yes. year. And from what I can recall, I think you're just around some uh, somewhere around ten thousand during that time. But yeah, I'm I'm seeing your posts. I'm seeing you consistently, and yeah, your your followers really are growing astronomically. <laughs> I hope so. So, uh, uh, I I just want to know that my followers grow, and whosoever my followers are are my target audience, and are people who find value in whatever I'm sharing. Uh, there's no point having X number of followers who are just followers for the heck of it, and you don't have any engagement from them. You they they are not adding any value to you, or neither you are adding any value to them. Now, uh, the the this slide actually I've I've consciously put a 2020 stat for you to understand that in 2020 in Corona times how how much exponentially these stats would have grown? How much it would have grown? Do you understand the importance now? Wow. Now, if if these are last year stats, okay. Now, 2021, I am I'm, I'm I'm requesting you guys to look up to 21 21 stats because it will astonish you in terms of how much exponentially LinkedIn presence has grown. People have understood the fact that they need to be present on LinkedIn, and they mm. that's where uh, that's where you also should start focusing on. Uh, one important fundamental thing that I want to bring to everyone's notice, please, 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 I urge you. This is this is my opinion. Don't treat LinkedIn as any other social media platform. The moment you do that, there are a lot of mistakes that will come in with it. Treat LinkedIn as a global professional networking platform. The moment you have that fundamental in place, you will start treating the platform differently. If you treat it as just any other social media platform, it's definitely not going to yield the results that you want. Because somewhere or the other, you would just be, you know, projecting yourself without getting into the efforts of uh, building meaningful relationships or without getting in the F getting into the efforts of engaging or building your tribe or building your community. So fundamentally treat LinkedIn as the professional networking platform. So if you know whatever you are doing, whether you're building a profile or whether you're writing a post or whether you're commenting or whether you're DMing or whatever activity that you're doing on LinkedIn, treat it as if you would have done it physically in a networking event. How would you have done it? How important would it be for you to reach out to someone and, you know, talk about what you do, how you do, and how would you actually invest in building that relationship? So treat LinkedIn as the professional networking platform, not just as any other social media platform. Uh, I would, uh, you know, just, just put this slide to just uh, reinstate the fact that why you should be on LinkedIn. Now, in, in, in one of the Insta lives, I remember yesterday or maybe day before, I mentioned that, uh, you know, whether your target audience lies on Instagram or whether your target audience lies on Facebook or whether it's on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, that's the place where you actually get the monies from. Even if that is the case, LinkedIn presence is important for you to build a professional reputation for yourselves, a place where you will find associates, a place where you will find talent, a place where you will find collaborators. So even if you present on all other social media platforms and you think that LinkedIn is something which is not, you will not be able to monetize on LinkedIn and that's not the place where your end audience is. Uh, please be mindful of the fact that at the end of the day, you're a professional and your professional reputation on LinkedIn is as important as your presence on other social media platforms to drive traffic. I agree so, on that. Uh, yeah, so it is, it is whether you are the, you know, you are a YouTuber. I've seen YouTubers with 6 million and 10 million uh, and they don't have an account or they have an account which is pretty much dormant on LinkedIn. And, and it's not something that is going to add, uh, you know, it's 
it's not something that you should do to to my mind uh, again when person branding is all about being visible being credible this linkedin is the place where you can you can emerge as a thought leader a linkedin is a place where you can uh, establish yourself as a subject matter expert and when that happens but even if you're an employee in a certain company you would think that why this whole activity i need i would just come and 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 uh, be present on linkedin when i need another job now the moment you are being consistent on linkedin and building your personal brand you are coming in the first you know say maybe the 2% of the linkedin users there are only 2% of linkedin users who are creating content and are consistent so you're beating the competition right away the moment you decide to build your personal brand invest on being present on linkedin and engaging on linkedin every single day you are beating the competition and coming right in the 2% isn't that great even if you are an employee even if you are an employee and definitely it the engagement on linkedin is going to add so much value what i have learned as a person uh building my personal brand is when you build your personal brand you kind of feel the responsibility of people looking up to you people uh, you know seeking information from you and implementing and you know benefiting from you and that responsibility changes you as a person a lot this is something that you will not realize happening right away but yes i see that happening because i chose to do this in all other parts of my life i understand that how different i am as a person now so even if you're an employee even if you have a secure job you're not looking out for jobs still i would urge that a personal brand building is very essential it's it's like a fitness for you know establishing your professional reputation you cannot just just choose to be in the gym some days and just not choose to be i'm sorry i'm i'm emphasizing a lot on consistency here but that's the key that's the key guys now today we're going to discuss very quickly uh three pillars of linkedin growth the quickest way to build an audience the easiest way to generate leads and how you should be positioning yourself with authority in the end i'm going to share a couple of facts i'm sure that it comes as a surprise to most of you that okay this existed i never knew so <laughs> even if 10% of the audience uh, thinks that okay i didn't knew about this i my i will be a Okay, guys, move ahead uh, with the section three pillars of LinkedIn growth: clarity, content, and consistency. Now, in that order, I would want. In that order, because if you are not clear, you are not going to benefit from whatever hard work that you're putting in to build your personal brand. So, clarity in terms of who you are. clarity in terms of what you do clarity in terms of who do you help clarity in terms of how do you help them mm. clarity with what do you help them with i will repeat this question so guys if you are if you are having a pen and paper noting it down please get answers for these fundamental questions first to gain clarity of starting your personal brand journey who you are who do you help how do you help them what do you help them with who you are who do you who help are, who do you help how do you help them and how what do you, do you help, help them? them with what do you help them with yeah so the moment you have this clarity in mind you would and definitely when you are answering these 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 answers in a very concise and best articulated manner will not come in the first go there will always be version 1 from version 2 version 3 so be it be okay with that be okay with that but still i would request you to just take that 10 minutes and sit down and at least make the version 1 now all these answers put together will become your elevator pitch isn't that powerful so the moment you have an elevator pitch you can use it at different places at physical networking meetups 
uh, when you are actually uh, reiterating those uh, that pitch in your head again and again and again and again it sinks in your dna that's the that's the way you start thinking that's the way you start projecting yourself so personal brand building with steps stems from the fact that how others perceive you and how others perceive you is a function of a how do you perceive yourself and how do you want others to perceive you as so with that in place then only you know you will be able to project yourself correctly the way you want others to perceive you as so for that clarity is very important now when you have the clarity with the answers that i have i have asked you to write you will get who my audience is right who do you help who my audience is now who your audience is is something people you know at times come to me that i don't have a clarity as of now who my audience is then i tell that what do you like to do that can be especially for students what do you like to do what what are the subjects that you can talk about endlessly or research about endlessly start with that and with the response that you get from the content that you're sharing you will figure out that who are the people who are getting attracted to you who are the people who are getting benefited from you that's where you know you would understand okay this is where my audience lies at times you have clarity okay this is this is the audience that i want to reach to and you will have clarity in terms of okay now if this is the audience that i want to reach you what are their burning points how perhaps i can address to a, some some of them and how i can communicate that i can do it the best that's the clarity that we need in terms of starting our personal brand journey because this will formulate the components like headline this will formulate the components like about section this will formulate how we are projecting the best in the experiences that you've gained so that people are able to connect the dots and understand okay this is where he's coming from or she's coming from and and this is my go to person so clarity is the first step now with clarity in place what do you do with clarity if you sit around it and not put content out there now but with content also please be mindful this is my opinion with content it is not only about the posts that you're sharing it's okay. everything it's everything mm. what you write in your profile what posts and uh, content that you're sharing on a daily basis and what is it that you're doing in terms of commenting on other people's post dming so is the language is the proficiency is the message is the communication in sync this is very important so i have posted about something i am i am i'm uh, you know sharing my ideas my thoughts my examples and that is completely not in sync with what my profile says or if my profile is saying something if my uh, posts are saying something and when somebody reaches out to me on a dm i am a completely different person and the whole perception shackles so the trust goes away try to remain consistent in terms of your content that is what i mean by content definitely the posts is the the, the most important part because that's that's what will drive traffic to your profile and drive people to connect to you but be be mindful as to what your you know so with content i also mean communication communication that you do on linkedin you should treat that as content only because we think through you know when we are writing a post we edit it five times but do we do that while commenting do we do that while messaging are we putting that kind of thought around it that how my projection is seen how the other person is going to perceive me the third and most important is consistency now consistency again is not with respect to just posting every day or every uh, you know people get actually overwhelmed with the fact that okay i need to post every day i don't have the time i don't yeah. have the idea i don't have the caliber it's okay guys don't don't press yourself that you have to share that every day no consistency means whatever uh uh whatever you have chosen for yourself that if thrice a week works for you or twice a week works for you stay consistent with that you may increase so right now you're going to the gym doing 20 reps and that works very well for you 
but some day you will realize that 20 20 reps for me today is bullshit you know i can like you know <laughs> merrily do it and if i have to you know evolve i need to get out of my comfort zone increase 10 reps right similarly if writing content if it's overwhelming for you you think that comfortably you can manage twice a week and you can manage to be consistent with twice a week stick to it if you are adding value people will wait for those saturdays and those fridays and those mondays where you posting content and you will get definitely is going to be a little slow because your consistency is less but it does not mean that it will not yield you any result also when it when it when it uh, when it comes to being consistent also i'm 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 uh, emphasizing on being consistent on all other aspects in terms of connecting with people in terms of messaging people and reaching out to people on dms in terms of uh, engaging on other people's posts so be consistent with everything it's not that okay i am consistently posting every day so that's my job is done no that's not true so be consistent with the whole engagement package you know that that you you need to take care of when it comes to linkedin so three fundamental pillars if you are taking care of this in the right manner clarity content and consistency clarity content and consistency yes now let's move ahead to my mind how much time jamak do i have we have some time Okay. Uh the time is uh for you to uh fully deliver your message. <laughs> okay, great. So I I understand we have one more hour, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. I I can But it really depends. Uh, I'm I'm seeing a lot, I'm seeing uh interest so uh no, no, I have a lot of <laughs> so I I I I take four hours master classes. I can go on and on and on. Yeah. So <laughs> I need to be very <laughs> very uh, cognizant of the fact that okay, I do I have the time. Uh. uh so guys, uh, fundamentally, I think LinkedIn. Uh. To to like kind of tap LinkedIn and start building your personal brand. Uh. Start having a solid presence on LinkedIn. Start building a post professional reputation. There are two strategies that work. One is mm-hmm. a push strategy. and one is a pull strategy now by push strategy i mean strategy where you are knocking doors you are saying hey hi this is shweta i am i am doing so and so blah 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 this is push strategy where you are knocking doors now those highs happen how they happen when you are engaging on other people's post and meaningfully commenting adding value when you are meaningfully okay this was nice share all that is fine all that is vanity that will not add value what will add value is if somebody has posted something and you have two cents to add please go ahead and add that that will make the people who are reacting on that particular post understand that okay this lady means something you know or this gentleman means something and they would go and check out your profile they would go and you know uh, go a step further to know more about you that is what you know you are uh, actually hooking your target audience and saying hey i am here go and check out my profile without actually saying it okay so this is one of the push strategies the second of the push strategy is definitely sending connection requests now it's it's like said so many times but still i receive connection requests without a note and even if the note is there it's like okay i would like to connect with you it's like you know somebody pressing your doorbell and saying i would like to come in would you would you allow the person to enter your home no you would have to give some some context as to why i would want to come in you would want to you would have to show some interest in the other person for him or her to understand that okay i should let the person in because that person is going to add lot of value in my life in my professional journey the network is going to be really richer that is where the push strategy it's not like you know you are doing the activity in terms of push strategy but there is no quality so it's not going to yield result like you're commenting on other people's content but you're not commenting meaningfully 
you're sending connection request but a you're not sending to your target audience and b you are not doing it the right way and third and most important is personal dms highly underrated how many i'll ask a very simple question for people who are who have been consistent on linkedin or has a reasonable presence how many of your connections do you know actually only those who may have reached out to you commented you you know had some level of communication with you some level of conversation with you you would have those persons in your recall right now you can be that person who if you invest in doing this push strategy of reaching out to your existing connections also we take them for granted because they are already in you know no how many of you you've not tapped your existing connections and you've not gone you know to the extent of actually building relationship with them so this is push strategy three strategies that i can think of top of the mind is make yourself visible by you know knocking doors now how you can build on the push strategy is again finding people searching people using the linkedin searches optimally using the linkedin groups optimally attending linkedin events all of these you know you find your audience you find where they hang out you find where you can actually reach out to them then only you will be able to make yourself visible unless and until you don't know what are the people who on on whose posts you should be interacting to get the right eyeballs there's no no use right the second strategy is pull strategy now the pull by definition means i'm pulling people towards me i'm pulling my audience towards me so definitely it's going to be sharing content so sharing content meaningful content is something that you should be doing to attract people towards you i will urge everybody who's listening to today or maybe later is there is no either or when it comes to linkedin they go hand in hand i see people who have a brilliant profile they must be connected with the right kind of people they must be interacting on dms and thereby they get results what they want in terms of their jobs etc blah 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 but if you don't have the pull strategy in place you are not ever going to build your personal brand that's not going to happen so push strategy and pull strategy now <coughs> the quickest way to build an audience is pull strategy the moment you build an audience strategy definitely you know uh, when people start uh, looking up to your content following you closely commenting or engaging on your content benefiting from your content if you are sharing any any information people are downloading it if you are sharing any tips and tricks people are implementing it that's where you build an audience for yourself now i have shared this particularly to go back to the earlier slides and i i told you about clarity right so what is your objective of being on linkedin apart from building your personal brand definitely because i think personal brand is given that has to be the motive because the moment that comes into place the whole intent of adding value comes into the place it's not a short term goal okay now keeping that in mind what is your objective your objective is to get another job or your objective is to emerge as a thought leader your objective is to you know uh, help or mentor uh, other startups or whatever your objective is that clarity has to be very essentially there so that you understand who your audience is and then you understand okay this kind of audience if i share this information this is going to be really really helpful to them and when you do that and people definitely benefit you understand that you're on the right path and when people are investing the valuable time every day engaging on your content you reciprocate this is something that i see missing people write content and they are very happy with the number of comments they are happy with the number of likes and they take that for granted if you value other people's time other people's efforts it is going to come back multifold to you so you try and that's how you build your tribe if you don't engage 
you will never build your tribe you will have a following i'll follow you for some time and you know okay now i've got whatever i could perhaps get from you and i'll move away but if you're reciprocating if you are engaging meaningfully i will stick around with you i'll you will become i'll become part of your tribe so the second is easiest way to generate leads now if lead generation now by leads i also mean opportunities it may not be leads for everyone it may be opportunities opportunities like you know uh, internship opportunities opportunities like uh, speaking opportunities opportunities like doing a side gig or a side hustle there can be opportunities i treat them as leads in terms of for you anyone who's seeking all of this this becomes a lead right but for obviously business uh, to generate leads again the fundamentals remain clear you have to be very clear with the objective with the objective comes very specific niche that you are targeting so your target audience you do the exercise of finding this audience and you connect with them so here you see the post strategy working you 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 going and connecting with them because with content you know it is uh, however specific it is you will not Uh, it is dependent on how many people are engaging on your content and your content outreach is a function of that right so you may not find the exact target audience flocking into you for a very long time till you know you reach that number of followers so for that to happen quickly and for you to get results quickly for you to generate leads quickly you can you know use this strategy side by side that's why i said it's not either or you have to leverage both you work smart yeah so while you are attracting people sharing content etc you are also reaching out to people so that the moment they check out your profile they immediately start following you and they immediately start following your content so the push strategy in a way whatever push or pull strategy the objective is people check out your profile and people connect with you people start following you that's the end objective in terms of linkedin whatever that you gain out of it is a by product all the opportunities that you're gaining opportunity to monetize your personal brand opportunities to you know speaking engagements opportunities to collaborations opportunities to multiple other things is a by product of the whole exercise if you have not been successful in doing that that people reach out to your profile and people connect with you it's not it's not functioning well i am going really fast i hope uh, so far so good everybody is i am i'm so used to these zoom comments coming to me and and and, and being able to understand how uh, is it a one sided monologue or it's making sense to you guys uh, no you are not you are not going fast it's uh, it's okay it's moderately uh... i'm not going fast okay. i take your word i So guys if if you don't like this i'm going by what jomak is saying so please blame him for <laughs> for whatever <laughs> jokes aside let's mm-hmm. let's understand the fact that i, I spoke about uh, visibility right so visibility with push and pull strategy you're going to really work on it when you're beginning the next step is credibility now i again you know i remember in my previous slide i mentioned about being consistent uh, is not just about being there every single day being consistent you have to be consistent with the projection you have to be consistent with the messaging you have to be consistent with the communication you have to be consistent with the persona that you want to project yourself as right today i am i want to project myself as a you know a, a linkedin coach tomorrow i want to project myself as a model then th- third day i want to project myself it's going to confuse my audience and when the audience is confused the trust is missing and when trust is missing you will not people will not be uh, feel credible you know you will not be able to have that credibility so again i have you know put this slide for the simple fact that whatever your objective that you choose to be position yourself as an authority is given you know position yourself as an authority building personal brand however you may want to name it so knowing your audience is the first step now when knowing your audience uh, in in context to personal brand building or establishing yourself as a subject matter expert uh, i will give you an example for an entrepreneur 
right the the target audience may be someone else the end end consumer may be someone else and definitely you can work on that in terms of your push strategy especially if you are in a b2b business definitely you would do that but when you are doing the poll strategy you are sharing content you can talk about your learning your failure stories your success stories how it worked for you those things will not only help not only help build credibility you of you as an entrepreneur but also help other entrepreneurs from the lessons that you have got so you will get a following of other entrepreneurs as well now if these entrepreneurs are not in the line of business that you are but they you still built credibility right so they are going to refer you i have got references from people who are just following me they have never ever gone uh, through any of my master classes or never have a, have they gone through my one on one consulting in spite of that just because of my content i have got people referring that okay if you want linkedin coaching please go and check out shweta and connect with her how amazing is that i mean i'm i feel humbled those days you know when i get those kind of references and it's powerful it's definitely powerful somebody trusting you to the extent that he or she is putting a word out there that hey you need linkedin coaching i'm following shweta and she's really good and i think you should check out and the person is paying me with that trust with that belief just that so if you are wow. able to position yourself as a subject matter expert on the platform to that level imagine the kind of uh you know benefits that it comes with uh so knowing your audience com- and most importantly i te- teach that in great detail in my master classes complete your profile don't don't have a whatever pull strategy and push strategy that you are doing eventually people are going to land on your profile and if there is there is a mismatch as i told earlier about the content piece of it if there is a mismatch if your profile is not impressive or it's not communicating to your audience it's not influencing your audience it may be a very good profile very beautiful profile but it is not in context to what the your audience is looking for your audience is not able to relate with your profile then your then your whole exercise is futile right so it's important for you to know your audience for for, for many reasons that how your profile should look like if you step into their shoes does your profile appeal to you complete your profile because not only completing your profile will have an impactful uh, presence uh, in the minds of your target audience but it will also help in terms of the keyword searches etc the seo part of it so if you're using the right hashtag if you're using the right keywords in your profile communicating it powerfully definitely uh, you know it's going to add uh, a lot of uh, value in terms of your journey uh, of building a personal brand on linkedin also provide real value be very very authentic because it's a sustainable model you will not be able to fake for long and the moment someone reaches out to me for a one on one consulting and whatever i preach on linkedin mm-hmm. and whatever i am consulting is all bullshit <laughs> they'll be like after one customer trust me i'm not going to be able to find another customer this not going to happen right and do some passive outreaches also passive outreaches mm-hmm. means with no agenda try and reach out to people hey i i saw your post today and it really was amazing and i see you making this effort and even if the person has one like to like if you just messaging them it adds so much value to their lives so much motivation that they get okay i there are people who are viewing me there are people who are who to whom my content matters and and it's such a big thing for someone engage with your community i've already spoken about it because if you're not engaging you're not building your tribe if you're not building your tribe it's not going to uh, be uh, building your personal brand personal brand is definitely not about me 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 it is not about being famous it is not about being a, a superstar or something but it is about being authentic powerful brand where you speak and people listen yeah now uh, top 3 linkedin hacks 
I don't know whether I'll be to. I can I can show this right. I can share the Chrome screen and do this right if I'm correct. Yep, yep, yes, you can. Okay, so guys, if you're viewing this, there's one one thing that I want to. Uh, so Jumak, what 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 business are you in? Uh, like you know, what perhaps would be your keyword on LinkedIn if you have to search anything? Yep, I, I'm actually learning a lot. Uh, you mentioned about the the clarity thing, <laughs> because uh, my I'm at I'm 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 an I'm an engineer, a technical guy. So this is a bonus for them. This is not uh, although this is kind of technical, but uh, we're we're supporting the technical people to to have uh, soft skills as well. So. Uh, like okay. what we're what's happening right now, this is an addition for them to help them out, uh, find jobs, uh, find uh, better clients. So, you're doing an incredible fine. job, Joe Mark. Uh, not many people are actually, uh, you know, stepping out and 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 from their comfort zone and investing that kind of time to to add value. Now, just looking at your profile, I found a product design, for example, okay? So yeah. what I'm going to share is some hacks that I thought I would just share for people to, you know, they can go ahead and implement right away. So I'm using the word product design here in the keyword. And you see there are people, companies, events, groups, jobs, blah, 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 when you type in the keywords. My search results and your search results are going to be different, guys, because obviously it's a function of whom I'm connected with, my first level, second level, third level connections. So now if you're, if you're typing this, go to the groups section, okay? Now you see in product design, you see four, in my case, the search result throws out 4,200 wow. groups. Okay. Now, if you are, and you can also see how many members are there in the group, right? Now, if you think that, okay, innovation excites you and product innovation and design is what you would want to join as the group. When you join the group, you see the group admin and who you can check out his profile, blah, blah, blah. You can do all of it and you request to join. Usually joining LinkedIn groups are pretty easy. They're not as complicated as Facebook groups. Yeah. But you know, for instance, you've joined the group. Now I'll show you the hack through the groups that I'm already part of because product innovation and design, I have no clue about. <laughs> so I will, I will show you the groups that I am part of and I'll show you how the hack thing works. Where the hell groups are. Okay, so SME and startups is supposedly my, a group that I'm part of because this becomes my target audience for LinkedIn coaching and that's the reason I'm part of here. Now you see there are 5,600 565 members out here. But now, the product design group that I showed Joe Mark and everybody uh, who is seeing, you can do once you are inside the group, you will see how many you know num people's connections, etc. are there. And once you're part of the group, you click on the see all. Now you see all these people who are part of the group. And if you pay attention closely, if you see None of them, in fact, is my first connection. I'm not connected to most of them. Yeah. Right. They are my second and third connection. So one way of, sorry, one way of reaching out to them is conventional way of, you know, sending them a connection request, waiting for them to accept the connection yeah. request, etc. The one, one big part of reaching out to the groups is you will find your target audience very easily because they will be in the industry domain that you are looking for. They will be interested in the same type of topics. So this is one quick way of, you know, reaching out and finding your target audience. But now, for instance, if 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 Nisha Agrawal or say maybe Vani Agrawal is someone that I'm 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 willing to, you know, engage with her, connect with her pitch her my services or do whatever activity that I want to do. The conventional way is reaching out to her, sending a connection request, waiting for her to accept the request, and then going about. The second option is if I'm using a premium account, I have a five in mail option. And that's that just the five of them. Unless rental people answer back, I get it credited. But otherwise, it's just the five. Let's take five, for example. What about after that? So if you are part of the group, even if you're not connected, like for instance, I'm not connected with Vani, I can still send a message. 
Mm. Jamal, were you aware of this? Um. Uh, What what happened to my situation is I wanted to have uh, previously in Facebook of course uh, if I'm posting my and uh, anything there definitely they have an admin that <laughs> that will uh, grant my uh, post right so No I'm asking in case of LinkedIn I'm here only talking about LinkedIn so in case of LinkedIn have you ever used this hack to reach out to the people that being part of any no. group and then No, okay. because out of my experience at F- Facebook, I eventually created a community for myself than me having to ride on someone else's uh, community. So, But of course, what you're showing us right now, it's different with regards to LinkedIn groups. Yes. So creating your own group, not everybody has that, you know, a the bandwidth. of creating a group managing a group or leading a group or building a community for for that matter that may not be something of their interest or that may not be something that they would they would be able to pull it off especially when they are starting but uh, what i am showing here is if you if you are not willing and which is which is perfectly fine to invest in a premium account you should you can use these hacks to reach out to people uh the moment they accept your message and you can actually build a conversation connect with them and and so on and so forth so you don't have to wait conventionally to you know send the connection request wait for them to accept because if people are not really active on linkedin it will take time in that process you can try this out as a as a secondary hack this is one that i wanted to show you the second is that using the same phenomena of of keep typing in the keyword uh so product design is what i typed right now you can use the your relevant keywords here i'm just illustrating now sorry i have to come out of the group first okay now if product design you see again the event section right now when you go to the events you see product design i get 612 upcoming events which are listed here hmm. linkedin events now if i choose to say uh maybe this webinar i want to attend now it's plated on blah 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 this 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 and it's it's like you know register for this event and this will you know take you through blah 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 and you can have Now, once you register for this event, you see right now this has six attendees, but you can choose events that you know have more more attendees also. For instance, now initially, if you see LinkedIn events had attend event option, not register option. So what people used to do, they used to just press attend event and not register for the event and actually turn up for the event. So now they have changed it to register event. but now if you if you register to the event once you are inside the event the event attendees access also is in the similar manner that you saw in the group so once you are part of any event you can actually i'll i'll, I'll see if i'm already part of any event and i'll show demonstrate you uh in terms of now you see uh these uh this event is already over but i have the attendees 83 attendees are there now if you see these attendees are again second connections and third connections right but if i think that okay these these are the attendees of the event and these two people i want to connect with inside the event i can still message them i can do something similar which i did for linkedin groups through events as well so if you know that okay you know these are the people who attended the event and definitely they are interested in this like minded people someone you can collaborate with if you checked out their profile and you want to connect with them the easiest hack is inside the event and inside the linkedin groups you can do that so i i found that to be a wowed you know i was pretty wowed by this whole hack when i discovered it so i thought of sharing it with you guys as well I hope that helped. Awesome. Learn something new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's next? So everybody out there, uh I don't know how I must I'm supposed to put a message. I can put a message? No, I can't. Uh in so the comments. I... You can? I can. On the on the right. Uh there's a right panel there comments. 
I think you can. I am not able to put any comment. I am able to see. I put okay. I can put comment in the private chat. I am not able to put comments in the regular comments. And I don't know how it is. So I'll put that link in the private chat. Uh, so what next is? I am hosting a. a detailed 3 hour masterclass in terms of how you should be building your profile step by step how you should uh, design your connection strategies how you should actually start uh, you know uh, building your content strategy and and the whole formula of um, you know how you can perhaps become consistent through your content etc so it's a it's a very accelerated learning because 3 hours is like too small a time but i have kind of mastered that skill because i am this is my batch 7 so i am going to share the link here uh, juma can you please share that with everybody else uh-huh. yeah i am little challenged in terms of how do i post it now this is a black friday sale so usually i have a 999 price point for this 3 hour was 999 rupees guys so uh, so this is uh, at 299 indian rupees so you guys can actually register for it and and uh, and be a part of this master class it will happen on 12th of december uh, between uh, 4 pm to 7 pm ist so i think that will be pretty convenient for you guys as well so this is one that i wanted to share before we get into any q and a and class shares the second and most important thing that i want you to do is uh, everybody uh, who is listening later now if i don't know whether this link will be available please uh, just subscribe so that you you keep yourself updated with any upcoming free or paid workshops of mine so this link uh, is a graphy link which you just press subscribe so anything that i'm doing on that platform any workshop free or paid you will come to know and you'll be in my mailing list so these are the two things and last but not the least if you have found any value in today's session i would request you to just take a minute and and share uh, you know top 3 learnings that you got from this uh, and you can rate me even if you rate me zero i'll be okay with that honest opinion and i would appreciate that so these three links uh, jo mark i would urge you to share with the audience if possible uh, so that's it from me guys this is this is what i wanted to share for the day i hope i was able to add some value uh, and you your time was worth invested now uh, i also do one on one consulting so you guys can reach out to me my either you can connect me on linkedin and dm me or you can drop an email at this email address this is my email address so you can just drop an email or connect with me on linkedin and dm me that i want to go for a one on one consulting i have the offering three three kind of offerings which we can discuss eventually I am not going to waste my time talking about it here because it's important for you guys. Now this is the LinkedIn Branding Masterclass that I was talking about. So it's a three-hour masterclass, and uh, there are a lot of bonuses that you're going to get with it. Uh, now is the time for you guys to speak and drill me. So if you have any questions, what did you feel about it, etc. Okay, joining me this evening is I guess. First question will be coming from uh, Raymond Mapalad, so he's one of our uh, community members as well. And I, I'm not sure, but he, I think he is, he's about to have a transition as well. So Raymond, what's your first question? Giving you the Hello, floor. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, first of all, uh, good evening, uh, Shweta. That was a very uh, thorough and. Uh, discussion about the uh thank you about linkedin uh, actually my question is uh what i posted earlier in the chat with regards to the consistency since that kind of hit me a bit hard uh for example in my case i'm trying to switch careers you've mentioned about the consistency of content that you post the one that's already in your profile how you reply with uh of 
well the 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 consistency between them um but what for example if an in the, uh, an individual wants to transition to career b uh, although of course the ones that's listed on his past work posted on linkedin is from his previous career career a so of course there's still a disparity with regards to that uh, is it something that will event that can eventually be overcome um, for lack of a better term since of course it would be rough waters um, with for example if someone were to look at that person he's posting things about this stuff but his work speaks this um, it's basically um, on uh, if it's feasible to use LinkedIn in a way to gravitate towards a different career path? Certainly. Okay. Certainly. And, and, and as much as, uh, you know, the uh, uh, inhibition of, you know, whether uh, switching to career B will confuse my existing audience or my existing audience has nothing to do with my career B. So all the time that I have invested in building the brand till now is going to go waste. Or uh, when I start talking about career B, my current audience will, you know, feel the distrust of, you know, what the hell he is talking now. And, you know, he was a guy with this, this, this background. It's, it's okay. This this inertia, inhibition, confusion is going to happen. But trust me, the one fundamental fact is that people are following you not because of your career or, or your job title. They're following you because of you as a person. And every individual evolves and everyone knows that. It's like if you are communicating in your content that, okay, this is what you've been um, contemplating for so long and now is the time for you to relaunch yourself and authentically sharing your journey with your audience, your audience is going to understand. Your audience is going to understand. In your about section also, Raymond, I would request that you explain why you know you have you transition from career A to career B, and what is it that excites you to do that? What is the what is it that you're looking forward to? All of that is is something that uh, you know because it's very easy for people to remain in the same career stuck and cribbing about it. It takes courage for people to actually make that transition, and people are going to applaud you for that. Trust me, people are going to applaud you for that. It's like uh, the transition is not the problem. The confusion is not the problem. It only will happen when you are not keeping people in the loop. If you're keeping your audience who are following you consistently in the loop, if you're communicating it with clarity in your profile, definitely, you know, uh, see, in my case, I'll tell you, it's very, it's very obvious. I was representing a company selling their product and service as a business development executive for four and a half years. And my journey on LinkedIn began with that as a person. Now, in somewhere around June 2020, when I started, you know, discovering that, okay, I want to evolve as a LinkedIn coach and consultant, it was a completely different thing, right? Audience is different. The, the whole, everything is different. But if you're, if you're making your audience part of your journey, they will not only be, uh, you know, supporting you in that transition, but you will also find a lot of people connecting with you. Okay, you've taken this brave step. I was always, you know, uh, uh, scared of taking that step. And now with you in front of me, I'm also, you know, I've got that courage to take that next step, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can become a role model for people who are, you know, kind of holding themselves from making that transition, Raymond. So I think that's definitely not a problem. And yes, eventually when you do that transition and you start sharing content about your career, B, you will get a lot of uh, people from that current target audience. And as I mentioned with the push strategy, you will actually knock doors, you know, who are relevant people now with career B in place, like I did when I switched to consulting. So uh, it's like 
just trust your audience and be authentic everything will fall in place everything will fall in place people evolve careers change and that's perfectly fine it's like as, uh, that's the essence raymond that if you have invested in building your personal brand careers are a by product your careers are not you know you're not being uh, okay i i work in hdfc bank do this right or i work in so and so organization do this people know you first and then they know about the product or service that you're selling or the or the business that you are in or the the company that you represent so that 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 secondary so remember i hope this answer helps and motivates you to churn content and and it's 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 brave thing to 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 make a career transition whatever the reasons and and if you re, if you can really be authentic with your reasons it, again you know you're going to get lot of loyalty in terms of your audience i think raymond you, you have to be consistent that. with your adobe uh, adobe workshops <laughs> <laughs> I am. I have no no idea about Adobe, so I am going to get in touch with Raymond for that. Uh, but my okay. design is all courtesy Canva. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, another question. So, how about for the students? I am a student. Should I invest in personal branding now and in LinkedIn, or after I graduate? This is one of the. most common questions from the students you should invest the first answer and short answer is you should invest please don't waste another single day not to invest so start from tomorrow if not today uh why now why three aspects a it can actually be a big learning platform for you when you are mm. observing following people in close quarters not just the influencers real people who are two steps ahead of you three steps ahead of you people there are so many people who have invested building personal brand who have just stepped into the professional world and they are sharing their journey in terms of how they cracked the interview or how they got that dream job or how uh, you know they so the thing is with personal brand if you are an eighth grader you can teach a sixth grader right you don't need to be a phd to teach a sixth grader the point is this also with students if you uh, cannot think about creating content think about curating content because people don't have the wherewithals or bandwidth or time etc to actually research and and if you can do that research from the, the for them and curate content there are many examples existing on twitter and linkedin where people curate and present it to you so that you don't waste time digging information from 50 platforms someone is doing it for you and that is phenomenal and people have built personal brand out of that so if if curation is something that you can think of not only that curation will help you because you're doing that research so obviously the learning is happening but also it's going to build your personal brand and trust me you will be a different person more confident person more uh, Mm. knowledgeable person if you are investing in building your personal brand on linkedin so a big yes you should go about doing it i hope awesome. it answers <laughs> okay another question so yep uh yeah when you're starting out in linkedin there's so many things that you have to tweak uh shweta so what 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 would be the top three that you recommend if there's someone starting out to tweak beautify his linkedin profile what are those at least top three top you recommend three. okay so top three i'll go by the first headline because headline. your uh, headline and your profile pic are the two things that people see before they even see your profile So whenever you are engaging anywhere on LinkedIn, these are two things that people see. So if you are commenting on someone's post, your profile pic is visible, your headline is visible. When you are DMing or sending them a connection request, your profile pic is visible, your headline is visible. That is the first step of hooking an audience. If you fail there, you fail everywhere. So if you have to prioritize your profile pic, has to be a recent headshot. And please, guys, you are human. so you have a warm smile i told you that treat this as a professional networking platform so in a real time networking event you are not going to be like this 
right i'm going to be like this so please have a little warm smile on your face a clear headshot with a plain background so that it stands out from that tiny hole people are able to recognize you or people are able to attract to attract it towards you because still you know the visual works the headline is very important because it if you're using the right keywords if you're using the right uh, messaging through your headline i will be inclined to connect with you or curious to connect with you either ways it can work so hooking the audience prioritize your profile photo and headline number 1 number 2 if i land on your profile looking at that i should not be uh, you know upset with the fact that i was fooled i was fooled by a beautiful photograph and a and a very uh, relevant headline so your about section is becomes your second priority because that's where uh, so i would i would take a second more and explain that when in case of about section think of it as you are standing in a room full of your target audience and you've been invited on the podium and asked to share your story that should formulate your about section mm. now this is your moment the target audience is right in front of the room you've been given the mic you've been given the podium now what exactly you're going to say you're not going to talk about the complete life story of yours you're not going to be too technical you're not going to talk about shweta does this shweta does that third party language all those things so you're going to talk about things that matter to them and you're going to talk about things that are your strength areas right so think in that direction when you are thinking building about your about section so in terms of priority profile pic headline and about section top 3 i hope that answers the question another question oh ah I'm going to sit all night I believe. <laughs> <laughs> um when you're connect there's 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 this confusion sometimes on how to connect uh, because uh some people switch their default button to follow so uh for those who are trying to network any suggestions on how to send a personalized invite how do I approach someone Right, I think it's more effective. Right, any suggestions on that than than just simply clicking connect? So, uh, to my view, if you really want to connect with someone that you know uh, you you look up to or want to want to build relationship with or see as a mentor or you know anyone, please invest some time in. viewing their profile invest some time in if they are creating content on linkedin invest some time in engaging on their on on linkedin because through that exercise a you will get to know them better and b they will get to notice you so if you are viewing their profile if you are engaging on their content if you are doing that in in my case i will definitely notice you that there's someone who's following me very closely they're viewing my profile etc so i will understand that you're showing interest in me you've invested some time in knowing more about me so do that before you send a connection request this is one because once you do that exercise you will have a clarity in terms of how perhaps i can approach this person what can be the ice breaking statement so maybe a post that you liked and a, a relevant post that you 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 want and you wanted to know more about that particular topic or do you have a blog or something that i can read on or can you refer me some books something like that now if you are sending me a personalized request like this i am instantaneously going to accept it and not only going to accept it respond to it because you i see that you have invested considerable amount of time effort and energy in knowing more about me and you mean what you're saying it's not just a, a vanity thing for you to connect with me and and kind of increase your connection numbers raymond you have another question uh yes i do with regards to um, it's actually in relation to that previous question and you've mentioned earlier that it's not a race it's a marathon and sometimes it's good to connect without an agenda 
because um from based uh, from my experience one of uh since of course linkedin still part of the internet there's there are still some uh, dangers to consider like um some months ago someone contact someone tried to connect with me and then uh and then after a bit of a small talk he uh he began to uh you know propose to me this uh bitcoin structure or cryptocurrency <laughs> and then networking and then immediately uh wanted to have me a uh, give a yes or a no i politely declined eventually but uh is that that i think is uh is that like a bad example of of uh of bad yes trying yes. to connect bad example. Since, bad example i was surprised at that point no no it they, they, see there are so many bad apples here so you have to live with that fact uh, and just because of that you don't start stop eating apples right so you just take throw them out and 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 find the good ones and start eating them so uh, that's pretty much that's a very bad example of uh, so uh, please never anybody who's listening to me the moment the connection request is accepted the person should not feel that they are trapped now okay so okay ye to aa gaya <laughs> you know this is this has happened and, and and the next thing that i am supposed to do is pitch trust me i did that i did that i'm guilty as charged when i started on linkedin 2016 and i'm so ashamed of the fact that i did that because i had no clue that this is not the way i thought that okay linkedin is all about pitching and promoting and selling you know i that's the only thing that i knew and uh and i'm really publicly apologizing to everybody who who may be viewing this that please i'm sorry i had no clue but uh, that's definitely not the right way you can always if you want to pitch see b is uh, i i uh, also you know raymond you have pointed this out there are examples where the profile says nothing and they are into some mlm business or something the profile has nothing so even if you have studied the profile and you have put that person in good faith and eventually it emerges that you know they 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 actually connected with you for for a very different agenda now this is like to me this comes out as a cheat cheating you know that somebody has actually not disclosed everything on the profile and then they are coming out with that so either you can you know if you even if you want to do something like this the best way is to either you know uh, send them an email rather than you know de- disturbing them on linkedin and dming them and pitching them a cold email is still acceptable because in this whole wide world everybody is doing that but definitely i would not advise doing that on dms dms is like you in a networking event standing and somebody reaching out to you and start blabbering about uh, their product and they want you to buy right now would you do that in real time event no so please uh, i appreciate raymond that you politely declined everybody who's listening don't think twice even if the connection request is someone you know politely decline chamak yep. I guess that's the last uh, question. So once more, before I let Shweta go, uh, please connect with her uh, in LinkedIn. I am, and I'm sure some of you probably are just are just too shy to ask. Receive, and, and 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 guys, a word of advice: I will not accept any connection request which is not personalized. <laughs> uh, it, it, because then I have a Take bad teacher issue. <laughs> Yeah, if you have not sent me a personalized connection request, please do that. I am not going to accept any request which is not personalized. And personalized does not mean I would like to connect with you. It has to have some context. The moment I see your request, I should understand that you have attended this session, and there is a reason why you want to connect with me. Right? Awesome. Yep. So once more, please connect with uh, Shweta and uh, Shweta. That was enjoyable. That was a quick one. That was an impromptu. <laughs> We didn't even have a tech run. So, yeah, uh, this is uh, authenticity at its best. Right? Thank you. 
Okay. I'm yep. I'm so, so so happy to to address to a LinkedIn local. I wish I could do that uh, physically, but yes, I'm I'm all the way. way. Just, just so happy. And Thank yep, you, Jomo. You can hoping you can visit Philippines also in the near future and get to attend a physical LinkedIn local yeah. event with us soon. Okay. Yep. So once more, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Shweta. Thank you so much for having me, guy. Bye, bye. And please, uh, I see get to see a lot more of you on LinkedIn and and get to follow a lot more of you. Thank you. Talk to you soon okay. and see you soon. Everyone, we hope we have inspired you. So please don't forget to join us in LinkedIn Local uh, Metro South and to all who are. Digital Creatives, join us in Digital Creatives Philippines. Once more, thank you all.